What's up guys and welcome back to another video here today from my fun figures. We have got the WWE Royal Rumble Elite 2023 line review. We have got Rey Mysterio and Damian Priest. We're going to be reviewing these figures in this video. If you've not seen my latest video where I unboxed a huge unboxing, we got, we got Elite 99 and we got... Alright guys, here's the look at the package and here's the front... Of the figures, the front look and the packaging, a nice look. You got Ray, you got Damien, you got Damien Priest, you got Ray, you got the guys who for the builder set. Then you got the picture of the superstar, you got the WWE uh, logo there. You got Elite Collection on the top. If you cannot see it, there it is. It is in a white. Can't really pick up on it too much. But yeah, and then you got a WWE logo, the top Royal Rumble. Turn them around. You have got the WWE logo, you got the Royal Rumble. Picture right there, looking amazing. Moving to the back of the box, you have got both figures. Uh, there's the back of the box. If you would like to pause, the, well, there's no really information, but yeah, here's a close up on the figures. And here is the <laughs> here is the side of both. <laughs> guys i hope you guys enjoyed that time collapse because i know i did it's absolutely amazing but yeah we got two of the figures and now let's take a look at the accessories first starting off first guys as we always like to do it on my flow figures at least we will always and forever start with these interchangeable hands first off we have got the black gloved ones for ray mysterio so we get a focus the black gloved hands looking pretty good we see these a lot with the Ray Elites. Sometimes I even think that we see these too much, in my opinion. Actually, we will get into these hands. For the Builder Figure parts, you are going to get an open interchangeable hands. Kind of disappointing, in a way, that we are only getting these. Because I would have preferred, like, the the suit part. Because I don't want a Nikki Bella figure. I don't, I'm not really too interested in getting that figure, even though it's pretty cool. I'm not even a big women's figure collector, so I probably wouldn't even be that interested in getting that figure. And the figure I was interested to get it get in this series was the Ray, the Damien, and the Vader. And now we are looking at the Royal Rumble mic, which is not picking up at all on my camera. It is a very small logo, anyways, so it is very hard to pick up. We will take another look at that in a minute, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. But yeah, we got these. Beautiful. I think these are amazing arms. I think this suit <coughs> would be amazing for his AZ the freaking Rollins custom. Because you have the, the suit just looks amazing for Rollins, if you guys know what I mean. I'm not really going to get into it too much in detail. Because, you know, uh, yeah, but here are the arms. Looking good. I think these are very good arms. They just look amazing. Suited arms for a Rollins. So, yeah, I got to make a Rollins. From these, if we do ever get the other parts, I will pick up the Vader, the Nikki Bella. The most I'd ever pay on that figure would be like 12, 12 kind of euros, not even that. Like, I wouldn't even be paying that much, you know? Like, I would, but I'm not a huge figure collector. But next up, we've got the open interchangeable heads for Damien Priest. I think these are very good, basically, what we've seen on his last release. But overall, for accessories, I think they did a killer job. For these accessories, the jacket also does come with Damien Priest, which, you know what, I'm going to take that off and take a closer look at that right now, actually. Alright, guys, the next accessory for Damien Priest is his nice jacket. I love the buckles on this. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It is a nice rubber material. It's not too stiff. Because sometimes with Mattel, they've got better. Now they got way better Mattel with their... their cloth, their rubber, their rubber, everything, like this, especially the Seamus jacket, I just seen it over there, and uh, yeah, this is a solid Seamus jacket, but uh, yeah, this is a beautiful, the Seamus jacket is amazing, we need more of them, like the Zet Rolls Elite 99, we got that beautiful jacket, I am just gonna get a drink of water really quick from our throat, because it's a little dry, but we've got this beautiful, um, 
We got this beautiful, 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 beautiful piece, if you ask me. It, you can put this on a couple different figures, but it's always going to look great on the Damien Priest figure. All right, now we're going to start with the first figure. I'm going to go Rey Mysterio first, and then we're going to get into a lot of Rey Mysterio comparisons. I've been waiting for these figures to drop in price now for ages. Originally on Smiths, they went for 35 They dropped them to 25 I was thinking about it. I had money. I was like, should I get these? I was debating on it. The Ray, I want to get every single Ray Mysterio Elite ever made. The Priest, I only have one figure of him. It's a beautiful, amazing Priest release. I love both of these figures. They both look absolutely amazing. Their details are on point. The Ray, ever since I seen this thing, I was like, I want it. The Royal Rumble, I watched the Royal Rumble. I'm born in 2006, so that makes me 17, but... I am. I wanted the Mysterio that the year that I was born when he won the Royal Rumble, and I watched this Royal Rumble when it was Rumble season not too long ago. I thought it was a very, very good Royal Rumble match. Ray won. It just you know it had so much for me. I love Ray Mysterio. I love his figures. It was a must for me. I love this figure. I think it looks amazing. But yeah, let's get a closer look at it. Let's go into the review. For this Ray, obviously it's not going to do the job for an updated Ray because of one reason, the tattoos. But anyways, here are these beautiful, I am just going to turn off my LED lights really quick. Here is the head scan, here is the torso, normally I do begin with the pads, but yeah, that's how I normally like to do it on the channel. But here's the nice red pads, I love the articulation for these from the past Rays. Every time I get um, a Ray figure... Can't focus, unfortunately. My favorite part of one well, of my favorite parts of the figure is the trousers. I think Ray needs to go back to these. We got the six one nine. We got nothing on the back, and then we got this really, really nice logo, which reminds me of Kane, but a cross put in the middle. Obviously, this was a, a tribute to Eddie Guerrero, so that could also remind you of Eddie Guerrero. It also, does remind me of Eddie Guerrero's ring gear. Now that I do think about it, but yeah, we got the Eddie Guerrero. Uh, little things in the arms. People weren't really, you know, they kind of wanted them to be like an accessory. I like the way they painted them on personally because I think that they look good. You can see them on the box. And then on the figure, I think they look really good. And also, sometimes accessories like that, they kind of hinder the articulation a little bit. And it's a little annoying. And most of the time, like the Battle Elite, I will end up taking it off because, you know, if I wanted to take a picture, I'll put them back on. You know, that's just my personal opinion on it. We got the Rey Mysterio. Mexico logo there. We have got the 619. We've got the classic Rey Mysterio tattoo on the back. We have got some other tattoos underneath the elbow pad, which I'm not going to bother having a look at because, you know, I'm sure you've seen them a million times on the Rey figures. you got the beautiful logo on the back of the mask, just like the one in the blue. Uh, yeah, like just like Rey's, man. They're just so cool. I love them. I go crazy for them. I just love his figures so much. And I love this one. This one might even be my favorite. I love the red. I'm going to have to have a look at every single one. And I will rank. I will have to do. I did a video collection of all these rays. Man, I just love Ray. And I love his figures so much. I just think they are so cool. Every time they release them, I'm always like, this figure is awesome. The next figure is awesome. You know, man, I just love the rays, man. It's so freaking cool. But yeah. Uh, the folks on the head scan, you know, sometimes this camera will focus, there we go, and now it's came out of focus, yeah, a little annoying, but, you know, overall, though, an amazing Grey Mysterio figure, here is another look at his mask, one more time, because I want to give a good look at this, but yeah, there is the mask, Ray looks pretty good, I think it looks pretty like Ray, but overall, my thoughts on the figure are an amazing, great Ray Mysterio figure. I love it. Top notch Ray stuff right here. I think my personal opinion on Ray figures is there's a lot of them, but there's a lot of them. Sometimes I think they it's necessary to necessary to make them. Sometimes the ring they choose, the ring gear they chooses ain't the best. But I am interested in getting almost every single one of his elites, the ones that stand out the most to me, the ones that are the best. But yeah, man, Mattel, I love the Rey Mysterio figures. I say keep them coming. Not everybody's going to agree with me 
on that, and that's totally fine, you know? But uh, yeah, anyways, next up, we are going to get into the Damien Priest figure. I love this figure. Amazing figure for Damien Priest, his second elite. This guy, he needs another Judgment Day elite now. Now that he's changed his attire pretty much. The other figure is closer to him, but I don't really mind. This figure is just that damn good that I couldn't pass up on it. Uh, you know, just a, a great figure. The ring gear looking amazing. Everything about this figure is nice. I love, and I love the way they do this with this. This part right here, the little patch, you can feel the sculpting that went into that. That is just amazing, man. Like, Mattel just got so much better, man. I, I love figures. Just thank you, Mattel, for these beautiful, great figures. You guys are doing such an amazing job right now. I know they're not watching the video, but the, for the fans who will come watching at home, I know you guys might agree with me. I'm sure you guys do if you collect the current day figures. But yeah, we've got the tattoos on the chest there. We've got a look at the great head scan for Damien Priest. They used the one that they used in the last release. I'm not pissed about that. I am not pissed off at all, about that at all, because I think it's one of the best head scans that they have ever made. I think this head scan is that damn good. You got the tattoos looking amazing. You got the the tattoos here. Then you got this this really cool tattoo in the back. I just find this tattoo so cool and every time I see it. I'm like, wow, that tattoo is so freaking cool. But yeah, I got a Judgment Day shirt on right now. Beautiful Archer of Infamous Damien Priest figure, you got the necklace from his last release, we have got the interchangeable hands, and we got the silver, uh, kind of like gauntlet things, now we are going to get into a Damien Priest comparisons, and some Rey Mysterio comparisons, and then we are going to cut the video, we're going to end the video, but yeah, what a banger of a video, what a banger of a day, I'm on a high man, this is such a good day, wow guys, such a good day, really quickly before we do get into the comparisons for Rey Mysterio, if you want a Raw Survivor Series Rey Mysterio, Get your red raw shirt, vest kind of one, and pop it on it. It looks amazing. Look how sick this figure looks. If Ray was on Raw, he's not on Raw right now, but still. I think that this looks amazing. I think this looks awesome on this figure. Let's get into some comparisons. All right, guys. Here are some Ray Mysterio comparisons. Here's every single Ray Mysterio that I own. Wow, how many do you need? I need them all because I love them so much. I just got so much passion for Rey Mysterio figures. I love Rey Mysterio. I just love figures in general. Another one of my favorite figures to collect out of a wrestler has to be Zeth Rollins. Matt Riddle, his elites are also very good. I've got every single one of his so far as well. But yeah, here are the Rey Mysterio comparisons. By the way, this is not in order. I'm not going to bother doing that because, you know, I don't want this video to go too long. It already has went pretty long. But, yeah, there's the Rey Mysterio comparisons. Now we're going to get into the Damien Priest comparisons. Anyways, getting to the Damien Priest comparisons. We have got his Elite 89, I think it is. I think this series is also an amazing set. This is not the jacket he comes with. Note that this is the Sammy Guevara one. I can't find the jacket he came with. I looked for a while for it, and I've been looking for it for now for ages. And I just can't find it. And I think this one does the job anyways. But yeah. I think it looks perfect anyways. So yeah. And then we got the Royal Rumble Elite. In the white. Obviously the one we did just get. Here is both of his Elite. I love the boat. I'd have to go with his Elite 99. I just think the purple is better. And the one thing that I think they should have done in this figure. That they didn't do in this figure. Is that right there. That will add points to this figure. In my opinion. This is why I think this is a perfect 10 out of 10 demo. And it, hey, I hate to say this, man. I really, 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 really do hate to say this because I love this figure. It's got to be a nine out of ten for me, man. If they done the, if they just get these, still look good. But if they just gave us the gauntlets like that, not saying it's a bad figure. It's a beautiful figure. Nine out of ten is an amazing rating for this figure. There are the gauntlets right there. If they done them just like that. It would have been a 10. No no doubt it would have been a 10. Still can be a 10. But I just loved them about his last release. I just think they need to do that and keep it up with every figure. I get it also that they got a budget for the set. But yeah. Alright guys. That was the ending of the video. If you want more content from my five figures. Go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. The next video is going to be Elite 99 Reviews. 
Or maybe it will be before this. I don't know. But my fun figures out. Have a great day. I had a really good one. So far at least. My fun figures out. Have a great day guys.